Hello and welcome to this quick video about this quad here. Well, actually not just this quad here, about a general thing that uh, just kind of annoys me a little bit. This is actually the Darwin FPV Cine Ape 20. Now I like the Darwin FPV stuff. They make some really nice quads and they don't break the bank. And as one of the partners that launched with the DJI 04 stuff when it was released a handful of months ago, they brought out this available in two different options. And the two different options are, guess what, Analog or the DJI 04 unit. Unfortunately, those aren't the only games in town. And this one in particular has a separate little cage that goes on top that allows you to put your 04 Air unit in here and wire it all up to the cables that are provided. Even has a little GPS on it as well. But this has been designed and 3D printed not to be universal or to be able to be swapped and have one of these for Walksdale, one of these for DJI 03, one of these to have things like HD0. It's been designed around one particular unit and this seems absolutely bonkers to me why would you do it in this way where it kind of limits you to one of a couple of choices when for the sake of adding a couple of millimeters in each direction you could make this a truly universal piece now because it's darwin fpv and i like their stuff i thought you know what let me get an o for DJI bind and fly quad in like this. Let's see how easy it would be to take it from this, which is the 04 ready version. And that's another point as well. These aren't shipping with the DJI 04 air unit installed. They actually just come ready to plug it that stuff into. So why wouldn't you make this universal? But anyway, I'll get off that particular hobby horse. But I thought it would be good to show you how this actually works because it isn't too difficult. The new 04 air unit and the Walksdale avatar are pretty much the same size. So actually doing the adaptation here to turn this from a DJI 04 into a Walksdale quad has actually not been too tricky. First thing to talk about then is the physical fit within this TPU printed top piece. And again, why or why wouldn't you make it universal? Anyway, the good news is, is that the Avatar Walksdale unit fits in here really nicely and it has the holes at the top so you can actually screw it in place. So that is brilliant. All I had to do, there was one little cross piece that I just cut out that just made everything a little bit easier to fit. And again, because it's TPU and flexible, you do have that ability to kind of move things around if it's made out of a different material, you might have to do a little bit of filing to get things in. But it appears that Walksdale and 04, pretty much the same size when it comes to these kind of things. Next thing to think about then was the cabling. Now, most of these things will have some kind of six pin cable that go into the 04 a unit. Uh, this, this kind of connector. The cool thing is, is that that connector is exactly the same as on the side of modern Walksdale units. However, it's a four pin versus a six pin. The extra two pins can just be removed and you can either just snip them out and cut that side of the connector off carefully with a pair of sharp side cutters or do what I do which is just take the cores out using a little pin to lift the tabs and then put them into the connector that's supplied with the Walksdale unit. Interestingly, in this particular case, the two S bus wires that come out of that six pin connector for the 04 air unit, Darwin FPV have just put them together in a bit of heat shrink. Power for the HD system is taken directly from the battery pads, so that's going to be on this 3S quad, uh, 11.5 to 12.6 volts as I'm flying around. That's absolutely perfect for the Walksnail system. Make sure you're happy with that. In terms of the antennas, well, there are a couple of antennas that come in the box that you fit on the back of the L4N unit. You could absolutely use them with something like the Walksnail system. However, I'm going to keep the circular polarized antenna on here, and I've designed this 3D printable piece, which just snaps into the back in the antenna guides of the TPU printed piece. I'll put a link on Thingiverse so you can go and check that out. Only a couple of other things then. How do you control it? Well, this was never designed to be controlled via a DJI controller connected to the 04 Air unit. It has Express LRS built in, so that's perfect for all the other systems that are kicking around. And the only other thing is when you have modified the two cables, just be super careful as they both have the same connector now. One will go into the GPS and one will go into the walk snail system on the side. Make sure you don't mess them up. One of them is going to be powered by 5 volts. And one of them is going to be powered by 12. So write down on a bit of paper as you're taking it apart or take photos so that you don't accidentally plug the wrong one into the wrong place. Trying to power your avatar unit with 5 volts isn't going to hurt it, but trying to power your GPS with battery voltage 
definitely will. So there we have it. The good news is, is if you are a Walksdale pilot and you have seen a quad that's designed for DJI 04 system and you wanted it, but you didn't want to kind of get one that wouldn't work, it might actually be easier than you think. All of you bind and fly, ready to fly manufacturers like Darwin FPV who are listening to your DJI rep. I get it. I understand why at launch they want quads, bind and fly and frames and everything to be designed about their new system. But just think about the general market. There's absolutely an opportunity to get DJI 03, original DJI version 1, Walksdale and HD0 pilots flying your stuff too. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Payless360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.